Hello, grade 10s. In this lesson, we will revise the law for raising a power to a power. We will also combine all the laws about exponents and show you how it all comes together. Remember, when we have one term inside the bracket and an exponent outside the bracket, all the exponents inside the bracket must be multiplied by the exponent outside the bracket. Therefore, a to the power m raised to the power n is equal to a to the power of m times n. Similarly, a b raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n multiplied by b to the power of n. Each variable has to be raised to the power of n. Now let's do an example using this law. Simplify 3 a squared divided by b to the power of negative 3 all raised to the power of 2. According to Bodmas, we first need to work inside the bracket and simplify. Remember we can write 3 as 3 to the power of 1 and b to the power of negative 3 as b to the power of positive 3 by moving it to the numerator. Now we can use the law for raising a power to a power. We raise 3 to the power of 2 and get 3 squared. Remember the 3 has a power of 1, therefore we can multiply that by the power outside the bracket. We then raise the a squared and b cubed to the power of 2 and get a to the power of 4 multiplied by b to the power of 6. We can simplify this to give us 9a to the power of 4, b to the power of 6. Now let's join Dumsani as he looks at a more complex example that will require a combination of exponential laws. Simplify 2 to the power m plus 1 raised to the power 2 multiplied by 2 to the power m plus 3 all divided by 2 to the power 3m plus 2. Remember the order. First, raise to a power then do the multiplication, which is adding your exponents. Lastly, do the division, which is subtracting the exponents. Let us first examine the expression carefully. We have 2 to the power m plus 1 raised to the power 2. So let's do that first. That will give us 2 to the power 2m plus 2. Then we have a multiplication, that means we multiply 2 to the m plus 3 divided by 2 to the power 3m plus 2. Now let's look at this. All the bases are the same. So it means we can apply our first law there, where it says if we're multiplying, we can simply add the exponents. That will give us 2 to the power of 3m, that will be m plus 2m, plus 2 plus 3, 5, divided by 2 to the power 3m plus 2. Right, so far so good. Let's see now, what do we have here? It's division. Remember our second law? Law of division. It said when we're dividing, we can subtract the exponents. That's right. Let's see how we can do this now. We'll have 2 to the power 3m plus 5. What do we take away? We take away 3m and we take away the 2. That will give us 2 to the power of 3m take away 3m. That will give us 0. 5 take away 2, it gives us 3. 3 plus, uh, plus 0 will give us 3. That means our answer will be equals to 8. Let's do one more example. Here's a mathematics statement. a to the power of 2x 
multiplied by b to the power of 2x equals a times b all raised to the power of 2x. Is this true or false? This is like applying the raising a power to a power law in reverse. Let me show you. Well, we know that AB to the power of N is A to the power of N times B to the power of N. Therefore, the reverse is true as well. So A to the power of N times B to the power of N can be written as AB to the power of N. The two expressions are equivalent. So A to the power of 2X multiplied by b to the power of 2x equals a times b all raised to the power of 2x is true. Remember to practice the laws you have learned by viewing the exponents tasks video. You'll also be able to learn more about exponents on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.